Hi there! In this tutorial we are going to explain and demonstrate how to add a job ticket printer, check the supported media and create a workflow to transform PCL and PostScript files to a PDF. We will first log into our TotalFlow production manager And you see we have different tabs, operations, queues, configuration and reports. The tab workflow is not there anymore in this version. If we go to operations we can add a new printer. It can be a job ticket printer or a pass through. Well in case we create a new job ticket printer I will open up an existing one to show you what the entries are. Yeah, and the printer language supported is PostScript or a JDF. And you see that's depending on this printer language which port is used. We give the IP address of the printer and you see the question marks behind each entry. Yeah, so you always can open up the help. In the scheduling, we still have the supported media, which is retrieved from the DAV when we made a connection. And if you open up the DAV itself, and in this case it's the Fiery, we can go to the paper catalog information and indeed, what you can see over here is that the media is exactly the same. So, automatically the media is retrieved from the printer controller and also the tray information will show the proper media installed. You can enable and disable the printer and you see on the left side, in this case it's grey, it is disabled and once it is enabled and up and running it shows a green bar. Then we go to the new tab called workflows. And we are going to create a new workflow called transform and approve and we are making use of a requested printer and in this case it is a fiery controller. We also link it to a hot folder yeah, and in the advanced settings for that workflow we can change the polling interval to 10 seconds for this example. If I'm going to edit the workflow, I can add activities. And in this case, I drag and drop the transform to PDF activity. I also want to add an approval. And you can right click on each individual activity to get into the properties. Yeah, as you can see, this activity will convert PCL and PostScript files into PDF. So I will save the workflow and I will enable it. I open up the hot folder location which we just configured and I will drag and drop a PostScript and a PCL file into this hot folder. So within 10 seconds they should disappear and into Total Flow Production Manager if I go to all jobs I should be able to see well it is receiving and processing. If I select show submitted jobs for this printer I 
I can see that there are two jobs waiting for approval. If I go to the properties, I can already have a look at the preview. And I will approve. Yeah, that was one of the steps in the in the workflow. If I go to the queue step, I can see that the jobs are there waiting to be processed. So if I go to the Fiery controller itself and I will process and hold the files which were in the hold queue, I can already look at the preview and confirm that they are properly converted into a PDF file. Yeah, so for both the PCL and the PostScript files are converted into a PDF file. So this was a very brief explanation on how to create a workflow to transform PCL and PostScript files into PDF files in TotalFlow Production Manager. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Rico.